What's going on YouTube? It is your boy Chris back again with another video for you guys today. Apologies for not really uploading over the last few days. It's been a really, really long week when it comes to just, you know, everything in my life right now. So I do apologize, but uploads should be coming much more frequent over the next couple weeks because I've pretty much gotten a lot of stuff out of the way. Last week's video did really, really well uh, discussing the Future Stars promo and how you guys can make coins during the first one. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to have an updated thumbnail, but I'm going to use probably the same thumbnail as I did for the last one, if that's all cool with you guys. Uh, we're going we're gonna to talk about how to make coins during Future Stars 2. So, it's a couple different things you guys could do. There's actually a lot of different things you guys could do. So, this video is going to cover it. If you guys do enjoy the time of video, make sure you do drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new around here, and let's get right into it. So, the first thing you guys want to be looking at is obviously... The high rated golds uh, are really dropping. People are kind of getting impatient um, with like the icon SBC that's supposedly going to come out soon. Um, and at some point, those cards are going to rise regardless. Whether that be like a, a, a moments card that could be like a high rated, those cards would rise because of that. During lightning rounds, what you want to be looking at is any of these 85s to 89 cards i would even say 84s under 3k are a really good look um look at good nationalities i would also get on bids as well something that a lot of people overlook is when there is lightning rounds everyone thinks about sniping a card because they think that the supply that comes onto the market is all just about sniping it's not actually it's more about bidding because everyone goes to look at sniping no one is on the bids and that's where you can find uh some good deals because again there's so many deals on the market as well where you might get one or two uh out of the bunch so that's something you guys can look at uh high rated golds i can show you the um i can show you like how cheap they actually are so like 83s are on, under 1000 coins like on snipe you can get them under 1k during lightning rounds you could probably get these under 1000 coins that's a very very good 84s 3k and under really good uh, 85s, 8.5, 8k and under is really good. I think they'll drop to 8k tomorrow. Um, I think 86s are probably going to go to 13.5. Um, during landing rounds especially. 87s will be 20k, 88s will be 26, 89s will be 32. So I like that in terms of a move for you guys to club stock. Again, I don't know how much longer we can wait for this SBC to come out. But when it does, I advise you guys to not sell right away. Because what will happen is... Depending on the price of the SBC, people will probably sell off all their investments. And you don't want to sell that until everyone is done selling their investments. And then you can see a natural rise on the market in that tier uh, of cards. Another thing to look at uh, is players that potentially are getting in. So Erlen Holland is pretty much confirmed to get in if you guys go. Uh, and I'm just going to see if I can get back into Ultimate Team real quick and show you guys the loading screen um, that we did get. Uh, let me see real quick here. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Is the loan screen there? Come on, come on, EA. Okay, so you got 92 Dortmund. Obviously, is going to be Holland. Uh, center mid for uh, Real Madrid. We obviously know that's Valverde. And uh, 91 shooting in Argentinian. You know that's going to be Latero Martinez. So, obviously, those are three really, really top tier cards. Now, Erlen Holland last week. What did I tell you he was going to do? He was going to be low in the morning, and then he was going to go up at night. He went to 275 at night when you could have picked him up at 250. He then, the following days, as the market got more coins through lighting rounds, he went up even more. He went up uh, from 270 on the Saturday to 290 on the Sunday, all the way to 298 on the Monday. So people just kept buying and buying and buying. Now, if this card tomorrow is 280, 285, because he's pretty much guaranteed to get in. I wouldn't be opposed to you guys buying this card because, like I said last week, there was two scenarios that was going to make his card rise. It was going to be if he gets in, but his card is too expensive and people go and buy back the inform card or he does not get in and people buy him back regardless because they just panic sold for no reason. I think you're going to see this rise again after 6, 7 p.m. I don't expect Holland, especially with the future star one prices for him to be anywhere under a mil. Uh, if Mason Greenwood is a million coins, if Jal Felix is two mil, Holland's card, if they do upgrade his weak foot and skills, which I hope they do. It's a four star, four star. He's going to be over 1.5 million, and people will go buy back this card. We've seen this many times in the past with Team of the Season, with any other high tier cards. These cards 
do rise. So I would look at this car in the morning, 280, 285. I like that. Any 15, 20K undercut from where it is now, I like that a ton. Um, another thing you guys can do is Team Louis 21. So this might not be for Friday, but this might be for Saturday. So Saturday is usually the lowest day um, for mo like most of the time for informs from the current week because then people start to put them in their Patreons, when to buy them and stuff like that. Uh, Squad Battle Awards obviously makes the market jump up a little bit thinking that the market's going to be low, then they buy in, it's going to be high again. Um, so, some prices are already looking really good. Uh, Di Maria, I mean, the fact that he's 50k, let's not forget that his 87 inform was currently 73,000 coins on the market as a right wing. He's now 38. Look at this plunge. Look at this. He was 70,000, and now he's all the way down to 38. So, what I did, guys, and this is a little bit of trading with informs, is I just thought that this guy was too was too cheap. So what I did was I picked up all of these uh, Di Maria's. I've already sold one at 57. Still trying to sell some of my weekend league investments as well. But if you look here on my transfer list, I pretty much have about 13 of these left. Did I sell another one, by the way? Uh, no, I just listed one up. Um, I've been picking them up under 15. I think he's going to go up to like 58 to 60 tonight. So that's why I've been... Uh, that's what I've been doing. I put like 700k into him. I think he's going to go up tonight, so that's like one thing you guys can do. Uh, you can invest before anyone else invests. So, like, already, I think if you get low reset, like 70k, 65, I like that a ton. I think Delict anywhere under 30 for an 87 inform that is actually kind of usable. 70 pace isn't that bad, and his Juve center back should rise in price. Parejo, if you find him anywhere at 30k, that's an amazing buy because just by default, he's going to go back to 38 to 40 just because he's an 88 inform. Um, 88 inform rated. Uh, same with Lukaku. I mean, he's actually usable as well. 32, 33 for this. I think is a great price for the 88. This Sancho, I like anywhere in the like low 80s, high 70s. I think for a cam version, I think that's really good for Sancho. Yeri Mina, 11k discard price, pretty much. Uh, inform tells his 86 held uh, about 100k usually, 100 to 130. He is his 86 went up out of packs a good amount. He went from about 110 in lightning rounds all the way to like 150 so by like that tuesday so i can see the same trend happening here anywhere or 100 or under i like that a ton for tell us uh and then a bunch of these guys on the bench just get them for discard uh anything else asics Cazola is already looking good um 19k 18 for an 86 is crazy uh don't really like immobile at the price he is right now i know he's a 90 rated card but i don't know how much he's gonna go up out of packs i think this firmino is gonna go up with the winter upgrade um, speaking of winter upgrades, we got to talk about that. This should go up out of packs. If he hits low 300s, I could expect him to go back to 330 minimum. So that's something you guys can look at as well. Now, winter upgrades. Again, and this is, I'm going to tie this into both things. Winter upgrades plus, um, live cards. If you see any of these cards dropping, okay, any of these cards that drop tomorrow, you want to pick them up. So Werner could very well go down because of Holland. If that's the case... This is a card that is supposed to be getting an upgrade, and he will gain hype again as people buy him back up before Winter Refresh comes out. So he's been 185 today multiple times. This is a card you want to pick up anywhere under 170, 165. That card's going to go up a good amount uh, in the hype. Another thing, again, live cards, you know, headliners, Road to the Finals. They're, the Road to the Finals had shot up, and I did tell you guys last week to buy them on the Friday um, Militao was as low as 620, uh, and he's up at 710 right now, which shows you that people are focusing on the Champions League now. There is about two weeks to go until the, the games come out. So please look at these headliner teams, look at the roads to the finals, study the prices right now, whenever you're watching this video, and then kind of determine during the, during the panic, how, how much lower their prices compared to where they were right now when you're watching this video. So just, I mean, if you look at Madison at 150, if you're looking at Talia Fico at 100, um, Kappa's at 140, 130, you know, any of these cards that potentially could get upgrades as well. Like, I would look at Delaney here. If Delaney goes down to 235, that's a pickup in my opinion because Dortmund are very close to the fourth win. And this is a good, this could be a card that's going to rebound real quick. So, look at Delaney uh, as a card uh, for tomorrow. Just look out for that, guys. Um, going into it again. Any future star cards. Now, in terms of investments, I really like Kabak. I really like uh, Kamara. Uh, I like Aaron's. As long as Reese James doesn't get in, 
Uh, I actually kind of like Mason Mount as well. Emerson's good, do really well out of packs. Dembele, I think, will do really well. And that's pretty much it that I like. Uh, even Martinez, because people might just like want a future star. And you know, he might be the cheapest out of the two teams. So people will probably just go buy him just for the sake of it. Um, I like some of those cards as investments. Now, what you could see tomorrow is Greenwood and Felix both may drop if Holland and Latero are that insane. You might see the high tier future star market drop a little bit. Uh, same can be said about Rodrigo, Tanale. Uh, Tanale could drop with Valverde. Um, whether they rebound, they probably will. Um, but it obviously depends on the prices of Latero and Holland. I don't expect Latero to be under 1.5 mil. I don't expect Holland to be under 1.5 either. Just looking at the price of Jao Felix here, I mean, someone that has 5 star, 4 star. Uh, Latero's got 4 star, 4 star right now, and Holland could very well get a weak foot and skill move upgrade. So look out for these future star cards. If you see cards like this dropping as well, these cards, remember, why are these cards investable? Well, Emerson, there's not really many right backs in the in La Liga, and he's Brazilian. So if you want a Brazilian right back, if you want to build a Brazilian team, this is your guy. Um, Kabak, if you want a Bundesliga center back, there's not that many. It's St. Juste, and that's it. And he's 165 right now. So this is a card that I think is going to do really, really well out of packs. He went up 100k with the Weston McKinney SBC. I think this is going to do really well, in my opinion. Uh, Kamara, again, French center back. Lee Gunn. Not many Lee Gunn center backs are actually good. You have Marquinhos as team of the year nominee. You have Tia uh, Tiago Silva's player of the month card. It's not really great, to be honest. Not an amazing option. So I would look at Kamara, Quebec, Emerson, uh, and possibly Dembele as well with the 90 pace up top with 86 shooting. Is there anything else I could talk to you guys? Oh, icons. Okay, we need to go to icons for tomorrow. I mean, I'm telling you guys, there's so many things you guys can do, and I'm trying to, you know, do as much as I can here on, on the video, but icons. Remember, you can go basic chem style um, and go to the icon page, and pretty much during lightning rounds, a lot of these guys, if you get to the 59th minute quickly, put whatever, you know, defender, midfielder, or forward to get to the 59th quicker, put whatever, whatever your budget is. I'm just going to put 900k for mine. Basic is on mine, and let's just see how far it takes me to get to the 59th. And this will this could take you really quickly. It's gonna take you maybe 10, 15 seconds. Get to the 59th and just see if you could find deals there. Um, I haven't been I have not been looking at icons recently, so I'm not gonna be uh, looking at icons tomorrow. I'll probably be looking at a lot of future star type content. That's just gonna be what I'm trying to do. Uh, but Gattuso right there, 474 or 470. I'm gonna see if uh, this sells at 440. And then maybe if I see him tomorrow at 390 on a snipe, I'm like, oh, he was 440 last night. Bam, buy it. And then make about 30k a card. And sniping during lightning rounds is amazing for icons itself. Can't really get them on bid. I wouldn't even try it. Um, well, like, you would try it, but it, it might not be that successful. Uh, something to also look at, guys, is any of the lower tier meta cards, like the Linglets, the Samados, the Furlan Mendes. Uh, any of those cards, if you see them dropping a good amount tomorrow, like if you see Linglet here at 15, 16k, I like that because I think they're going to rebound. There's always a market for these lower tier players that are kind of using the cheapest teams. So like your lower rated cards, who would they be? It would be Linglet, Semedo, Ferlamendi, Walker, uh, Dembele, if I said that, I might not, I might have, Suzoko, like any, Rashford, any of these players, they could rebound just a little bit and you could make some coins on the lower end. Uh, of cards now i just want to take a look while we're on the video here and see where is Di maria now to search for these uh new informs because they some of them do have old ones uh i just put basic filter on so Di maria is currently on the market uh he's pretty much 53k 51 is gonna get bought here uh and i have all mine at 48 and under so i'm hoping to kind of get out of some of these cards at 55 man make about 5k a card um but that's some stuff you guys can look at man Saturday would probably be your buy time for the informs. Um, I don't think you should buy. Well, trading with future stars as well, guys. They're going to get low around the 12 a.m. UK time. Like, that's when they're going to start dropping again. You can also look if, if they do fuck up a price range. You can look at those future star cards. Um, like any promo, if you can capitalize on EA making a mistake, go and do it. Um, but yeah, during like 7, 7 p.m. my time, which is like 12 a.m. UK to 3 a.m. UK, they're going to get a little bit low, and people are going to want to play Weekend League with them. So a card that I flipped last week, um, who was the card that I flipped last week overnight? It was Dominguez. So Dominguez was the guy that I chose last week, but I probably could have, 
and, and this kind of fucked it up a little bit, but the servers went down last week, like at 3 a.m., which was like nuts. So the market didn't, I mean, like these cards got bought up like earlier in the daytime last time. He's 340 right now. Like if all day long, this card's like 400 and all of a sudden he goes down to 360, 355. That's probably a good indication that he's going to go back to 390, 400 in the morning time. It's all a gut. It's a gut reaction. You have to know, you know, if that's a good price or not. You just got to kind of, you got to feel it, right? Like, for example, for me, Emerson. For me, 150 I know it's too cheap. I just absolutely know. And same with the Di Maria. I know that's too cheap for Di Maria. 50,000 coins for an 88 Di Maria. I get it. He has a four-star or a two-star weak foot. But again, it doesn't matter. Um, he is currently on the market at 150. I think this out of packs goes to easy 170 easy. So I have a lot of my coins set up and stuff. We're at 3.3, 3.2 million. Um, that's pretty much the video. Uh, this, that's pretty much everything you guys can do. Uh, SBC guys, if, uh, any SBC rares go down a lot, um, you guys can pick those up. They're going to probably go back up. Uh, silver trading for these lower tier guys, uh, league SBCs will be prevalent again. So, people are going to want to pack these cards through League SBCs. Look at maybe sniping um, top 5 leagues. Any league that has like a League SBC, you can pretty much um, you can buy any silver from and make some coins that way. Just look at the cheapest silver in each league uh, and you can make some coins that way. So, hope you guys did enjoy this kind of video, man. I love doing these kinds of videos because, you know, it's just really informative and you guys can make some coins out of it. So, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Comment, subscribe if you're new around here, and I'll talk to you guys in a video soon. Peace out.